your students to week 19. In this week, we will continue talking about genetics and the genetic information that's transferred from one generation into another. When we talk about genes, we are talking about the traits and how the traits are different from one generation to another. Now, the difference in the genetic information from one generation to another or from one species to another, in science, we call it variation. So variations mean the differences between two different, between the same species, but in a different phenotype or different characteristic. Our learning objective for this week is to define the evolution in genetic terms, mean how the genes and the genetic information transfer from one generation into another and how do they evolve to become a new uh, generation or to become a new characteristic found in uh, the same uh, genes or the, uh, the same uh, uh, organisms. Identify the source of the genetic variation, the causes that the, that means the source or the cause, the main causes for the genetic variation, why they are different. We will see that environmental uh, causes or in the, in the environmental changes causes the change in the genetic variation between the same species. Mean two, mean, for example, the, the two same uh, the two same species found in different geographical places cause to have a, a different uh, variation in their genetics, maybe in the color, in the phenotype, in the size of the uh, uh, organisms that can differ from one to another. To explain what determines the phenotype, which is the external uh, characteristic for a species for a given trait, yani why the traits between the same species are differ in a specific places caused by um, environmental effect, caused by geographical effect, caused by changing in temperature and changing in the um, in nutrient resources. That's what we will learn. When we talk about genetics, we talk about how evolutionary theory begins. When they, when we talk about evolutionary uh, theory, we talk about the genotype and the phenotype. Genotype, which is the particular combination of allele, where the phenotype is the physical appearance, the physiological and the behavioral characteristic for the same species. Natural selection acts on an organism's characteristic, not on its allele itself. When we talk about allele, alleles are the two, when we talk about chromosomes, we talk about two alleles coming from the two parents that get into the uh, final characteristic for the, the, for the species. When we talk about the number of times an allele occur in a gene pool, gene pool mean different, different genes in a specific places as a percentage of the total occurrences of all allele. As you can see here, the allele for the brown fur, for example, and the black fur, we talked about the frequency of the brown allele in a uh, compared to the black allele. Okay, as you can see here, the differences between the black and the uh, brown one. When we talk about also genetic variation, mean what is the percentage of having different uh, characteristic, different phenotype in compared to the other population? So the three evolutionary mechanisms that uh, generation genetic uh, generate genetic variation, mostly mutation, the differences in gene, genetic recombination, and uh, lateral gene transfer. Now, uh, some some traits have a uh, single gene traits, yani only one trait, one gene can cause the traits, which is controlled by only one genes, as you can see here, with or without the gene. Um, the frequency for that type, the phenotypic uh, relations are determined by the frequency of allele and by whether the alleles are dominant or Polygenetic traits, when you have more than one allele or more than two or more genes that control the phenotype for this genes. So polygenetic traits, it's when the, like for example, the height in a human is an example for polygenetic traits. Why? Because you need more than one gene to have this uh, trait. Thank you.